Um, why have my dogs recently started eating dirt? One has chronic GI issues always in the morning, but the other has been good. They are on raw. What am I missing? So first things first, are we getting balance over the long term? Um, you know, are we doing a pre-made raw or is there something going on in your pets where we may have, you know, glyphosate, we may have a heavy metal issue, we may have the vitamins and minerals are off. I find a lot of dogs start self-selecting dirt um, when vitamins, minerals are off or obviously gut health is off and they're searching for um, the minerals from the soil. Um, it's interesting. We look at soil based probiotics and there's a lot of uh, research being done of course, on the microbiome and looking at, you know, should we feed dirt? And I think I've heard Dr. Nick Thompson with Raw Pet Medics, he mentioned that today, his Facebook community, that's incredible. Every single person should join that and listen to their talks. I think they do it every single week or at least once a month, but they're fantastic to listen to. And I think they actually covered putting in a little bit of soil. Now, obviously don't go to the local park where they spray with glyphosate, um, but adding in soil or using those soil-based organisms. So that could be like your bacillus strain. Nick talked about phytospore. Um, there are some pets that don't tolerate liver. There's beef liver in that. You can use things like megaspore from the human side, and that's your bacillus strains. Um, so there's a lot of different ways around that, but my first thoughts on that are, We've got we've got some issues here. We need to do some further testing. I would do a fur test. I would do an animal biome test and I would see what's the cellular health and what's going on internally in that gut microbiome. And then that'll give you a bigger picture of, OK, this is why they're not doing well. And maybe we need to also assess the diet. Are we making sure that there's things like kelp in there for the iodine? Are we adding enough organ meats? Are we adding enough variety or are we still feeding the same thing every single day and not creating variety? And maybe we're not getting enough fiber in to feed that microbiome. So there could be a lot of different factors, but those are some of the things that run through my head when I hear about a dog eating dirt. So I hope that helps.